spelling errors that accumulate can never write a book. And spelling errors are exactly what mutations are. Think of the transcription of an instruction manual with some spelling errors happening with each edition. Spelling errors may not obscure the message if they are minor enough, but if a very large number of spelling errors are infused, it can render the book non-understandable. Even more important is that spelling errors can never write new instructions. Not rarely, but never. The reasons are twofold. First, because coherent, meaningful messages consisting of large sequences of letters or nucleotides in the case of DNA are fantastically improbable statistically, often more rare than choosing one marked electron in trillions of universes. Let me repeat that. Often less probable than choosing one marked electron out of all the electrons in trillions of universes. But it gets worse. The second reason is something statistical mechanics informs us about. You see, the same degree of freedom that could allow a freakishly lucky arrangement to ever have the opportunity to fall in place would immediately scramble the arrangement in the next instant or iteration. And nothing can stop this from happening. That's the way statistical mechanics works. It's math. Can not so improbable things sometimes happen to a genome? Of course. But most of the structures and systems needed for life are fantastically improbable. And life is loaded with these highly improbable structures that we can't do without.